Hello? Dickie? Who is it? It's Freddy. Let me in. Dickie, come on. It's me. Freddy, hello. It's Tom. Tom Ripley. Oh. Oh, hello. Where's Dickie? And how are you? Yes. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Uh, Dickie's at dinner. He's at a Tello's. Do you know it? I don't think Dickie's at dinner at 6.30 p.m. If you said he was still at lunch, I'd believe you. Incredible. The guy has disappeared off the face of the earth. I guess. The landlady, as far as I could tell. The landlady said he was here right now. He's at dinner. Go and search the place. I can't think why you would imagine Dickie would be hiding from you. Because he's been hiding from me. What happened at Christmas? What about Christmas? He was supposed to come skiing. I didn't get a cable or a call or a note or, frankly, a fart. He's very involved with his music, isn't he? I think his theory is that, you know, you have to go into a cocoon before you can become a butterfly. Which is horseshit. Have you heard him play that thing? He can't. How did you find the place, anyway? It's a very out-of-the-way apartment. Can I fix you a drink? No, thanks. Uh, some kid at the American Express office. Are you living here? No, oh, no, no. I'm just here for a few days in Rome. That's a new piano. You probably... Did this place come furnished? It doesn't look like Dickie. Horrible, isn't it? So bourgeois. You should watch that. In fact, the only thing which looks like Dickie is you. Hardly. Have you done something to your hair? Freddie, is there something you're trying to say? What? I think I'm saying it. Something's going on. He's either converted to Christianity or to something else. I suggest you go ask Dickie that yourself. Otello's is on Della Croce just off the Corso. Is it on Della Croce just off the Corso? You are a quick study, aren't you? Last time, you didn't know your ass from your elbow. Now you're giving me directions. That's not fair. You probably do know your ass from your elbow. I'll see you.